what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel um today yeah it's been like oh what a week since i last made a video uh partly because i was traveling follow me on twitter you probably knew that already um you know whenever i travel i'm obviously away from my keyboard obviously away from my mic obviously away from my pc setup and all that stuff i don't have a laptop if i did have a laptop i could probably put together some kind of video maybe even record on my phone or something but uh, i don't have one of those so uh for the foreseeable future you know if you ever see me traveling on twitter or something like that uh yeah you can expect that there's probably not gonna be a video i think i said that in a video last week as well anyway today i want to talk about season two reloaded which is actually dropping today when you guys are watching this but obviously i'm recording this the previous night uh season two is gonna have new weapons maps well map and then a well-received ranked play obviously so we obviously had a lot of stuff already come to season two this is obviously the reloaded section which is basically where we're going to be getting uh let's see we got a new raid coming a new multiplayer map a marksman rifle apparently a crossover event and then a couple other things so yeah let's talk about it kind of give my thoughts on it and maybe why you may not want to be as excited as you might be currently i mean obviously i haven't played it yet again i'm, I'm recording this on the night before so I'll, of course i haven't played this yet anyway leave a like subscribe if you're new okay we're really close to 9k subscribers really appreciate if we can get there soon because it's been a while and the channel's been kind of stagnant i mean i haven't been uploading can't really blame me i guess but yeah we haven't really grown but yeah it'd be cool if you could uh, do that help me out thanks like I said before, the Season 2 Reloaded update is going to arrive on Wednesday, March 15th, which is today. Season 2 Battle Pass is going to wrap up on April 12th, uh, so March 15th obviously makes the most sense. It's going to be uh, dropping on nine or at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. UK Time. And uh, yeah, the Season 2 Reloaded update is going to be no different. Apparently, there's going to be a raid coming. Now, quick little disclaimer here. I don't care about raids. I have not done a single raid. Uh, raids aren't what I play Call of Duty for. It's quite simply, okay? It's it's not what a lot of people play Call of Duty for. People don't play Call of Duty for this this aspect of the game, right? It's kind of like DMZ. It's kind of like gun game. It's, it's kind of like all these little things that they want to add you know to a very very minor market out there and i get i get that there's like a market out there i get that there's a subsection of people who really enjoy you know these kind of little game modes that they throw out there and stuff like that but for the most part call of duty nowadays is multiplayer and obviously warzone you know people don't really do zombies that much even anymore like there's a small subsection of that too but again how much of that can you you know continuously churn out day in and day out i think obviously as you guys know as a six as a 6v6 fan they don't spend enough time on 6v6 and they cater way too much to warzone but they also cater too much to this kind of stuff i don't care about raids if you took out all the resources for raids and dmz you could probably fit in another like five to six more multiplayer maps right now like 6v6 maps that would actually probably help this game out a lot right if you think about it like that i think a lot of people would trade off the entire subsection of dmz and raids for like even four more multiplayer maps even like four multiplayer maps and a one more remastered say uh i don't know scrapyard or something like that even if you don't want to remaster like a already remastered map you don't want to make a new map whatever uh like that that would be crazy right if you could just trade it off like that but unfortunately they don't want to do it like that they want to have you know your ex your extra other game modes that i guess people are playing i don't really know it doesn't seem like anybody's playing it to me you know i don't really see anybody playing on twitch or, or youtube and I don't know maybe there's just no audience for it to, to my opinion there's probably no audience for it but what there is an audience for is 6v6 and what we're getting here is himmel mat expo I, I don't really get why they call these maps you know such long names i just just call it expo you know what i mean like just call it expedition x there's one word you know even a shortened word for it. like just dome shipment high rise scrapyard you know like one word that's it just you don't need all this extra stuff I think once the map names got super long and super complicated, uh, the game quality kind of went down as well, right? Right? Like Nuketown, you know, short and simple, standoff, very easy, slums, very easy, right? You're going to remember these names. You're not going to remember, uh, I don't know, Azure Cave, you know, Atlas Superstore, like all these super long names, Himmelmat, Himmelmat Expo, like who's going to remember that in three years? You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway. This is apparently dropped for us because Infinity Ward got a lot of backlash. They obviously don't say it like that. They say that they were playtesting and they're, you know, <laughs> the map is ready ahead of schedule. Uh, nobody really believes that, I think. I think if you believe that, you probably like, 
you probably got like room temperature IQ or below, to be honest with you guys. But apparently it's a gorgeous snowy map uh, taking place in the mountainous region. It looks kind of big. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, there was a like a little trailer that dropped that showed a lot of the, the cool points. And honestly, it looked a little bigger than anticipated for a 6v6 map. Now, that's probably fine for like something like museum or something like that. But... <sighs> for something like this, man, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm i not excited for large 6v6 maps, okay? It's just not for me. I, I don't think that 6v6 maps should be big. If they are, make them 10v10. This whole 10v10 mosh pit that I did actually get to experience a little bit before my vacation uh, was pretty good. It, it honestly was pretty fun. It was pretty enjoyable. Um, I think that it, it solves a lot of the problems. I saw exclusive Ace make a video on the 10v10 mosh pit and how it kind of solves a lot of like the spawn issues and the pacing issues that 6v6 was kind of plagued by because of maps like Museum and and I don't even remember, Asylo, stuff like that. Like a lot of these maps are fine. They're just too big for 6v6. And, you know, having 10v10, even 12v12 on these maps would honestly solve so much problems, right? Like aside from like Shoot House and obviously Shipment, maybe like Farm 18 or something like that, most of these maps would be highly, highly beneficial, be beneficial, be helped so much by uh, by increasing the player count for both teams. Just a 10v10, even 12v12, you know, anything like that. Even 8v8 would help out so much, dude. But anyway, I don't know. They didn't want to do that. They're probably going to get rid of the 10v10 mosh pit if they haven't already. Let's be honest here. Um, speaking of stuff that just doesn't excite people, we're supposed to get this like Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle. I'm not a big fan of marksman rifles. I don't really care about DMRs. Um, apparently, you're going to need to get 25 double kills with marksman rifles to unlock this gun. So, of, of course, it's going to be free, thankfully. That would be crazy. It's obviously going to be available for purchase as well via a store bundle. According to the developers, the weapon offers impressive damage and a fast firing mechanism, making a great primary weapon. So that's cool. Uh, honestly, it's probably going to be broken in Warzone and Ashika Island. Let's be honest here. Anytime there's a new weapon, they you know, obviously make it completely busted for the first, like, I don't know, two weeks. And then once everyone gets it, then they nerf it because they want uh, everyone to, you know, play the game and get the game as soon as possible or get the gun as soon as possible so that they can take advantage of like this broken mechanic. It's it's obviously, you know, all, all planned out from the start. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's, I'm going to eat my words here, but I don't think I'm going to be using it that much. Uh, I'm still on the, uh, not Damascus grind, I almost said Damascus, Orion grind. I have one more gun left to get long shots for, and then I can start working on the headshots. And hopefully the gameplay you see will be a lot more interesting because I'll be able to use, you know, SMGs again, assault rifles again, a lot of the stuff that, well, I've been using recently, probably not the gameplay wise though, but you know, it's been random stuff, shotguns, pistols, even snipers here and there. So yeah, man, uh, I'm excited to use regular weapons again and, and actually play the game again. Headshots is a good addition to, to make the change. We're also going to be getting a new bundle. This is the operator that you see on the thumbnail of this, of this video. I can't talk today, dude. It's, it's been a while since I made a commentary, but anyway, it is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover uh, with an upcoming Shredder operator. So this is going to be coming about a week after the season two reloaded. So about March 21st. So I guess that's cool. It, it looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know how modern warfare it feels, but I guess that's out the window a long time ago. Uh, the KV broadside, the new shotgun, is going to be getting a nerf uh, if it hasn't been nerfed already. Um, yeah, apparently the damage was way too high. Uh, the dragon's breath was way too high. Uh, players have been demanding a nerf for it for a while now. I, I don't know. I honestly haven't played with it that much. I, I think I have it gold, but I mean, I did it all on shipment, so I don't really remember actually using the weapon. I, I think that's kind of a you know, unfortunate mishap of, of playing shipment. That's kind of what happens, but it is what it is. Uh, we're also beginning getting uh, drop zone, all or nothing, and one in the chamber. You can watch videos on, on what those are in the, uh, I don't know, in another video or something like that. It's not that hard to figure out, but those, those are all like little side modes. You know what I mean? Like they're fun. They're nice, but at the same time, they're not going to change lives or anything like that. I'm not hopping on on a Friday night just to play one in the chamber for like hours and hours. Okay, that's not that's not changing any lives. Uh, audio fixes is apparently coming for Mono for two season two reloaded. I mean, what we're like, what, five, six months in the game, we're still fixing the audio like I don't know, man, is there? <laughs> I don't even want to read what the audio is. Who cares, dude? <laughs> like, just fix it and get it over with. Anyway, Season 2 Reloaded, it, it's not super interesting. Um, that, I think that's kind of the case. That's kind of the theme of this video is just that I'm not hyped for it. I don't know anyone who's particularly hyped for it. I feel like this new map is going to be 
kind of a, a letdown to be honest with you guys i i i, I don't know I, I think it needs to be a 10v10 map kind of like how most of the new maps at launch were 10v10 maps or supposed to be 10v10 maps instead they're 6v6 because the developers don't want to scare people off not knowing the fact that they already did that by not making a fun game to begin with uh you know you make the game fun people aren't gonna be scared off anyway yeah it's only two 6v6 maps and then we're getting this himmel mat expo then we're getting this dmr that that's probably gonna be broken for like a week and then nerfed into the ground we're getting this samurai operator thing and ninja turtles thing cool cool i guess uh and that's what it like they're fixing the audio like i don't, I don't know man how, how are you supposed to be excited about this you know i see so many people just jumping off the ship of call of duty you know everyone's talking about other games fortnite's getting big too while I was on vacation, I was talking to some you know, in real life homies and they're all talking about Fortnite. They're all talking about, you know, all these other games. Nobody's talking about Warzone. Nobody's talking about Call of Duty multiplayer. And it's just, it's kind of sad. You know, the player count, it's reflected in real life. Just go ask your homies, go ask your people in real life, go ask your discord, you know, even your Twitter, like people, I guess, like just ask anybody who you like normally talk to these days. It's just, <laughs> nobody's really doing much these days with, with Call of Duty. And I, I can't blame him. Call of Duty really is falling off. And this season two reloaded, mark my words, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I really don't think it's gonna change anything. I really think people are gonna be let down by the map and they might like the gun, but they're not gonna stay on for the gun. Anyway, that's it for the video. It's good to be back. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section if you're if you're excited for seeing two reloaded or not. I feel like most of you guys won't be, but uh, I want to make this video anyway. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. It's good to be back, like I said. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos coming coming. They're going to be coming much more frequently uh, now that I'm back. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.